Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Communities Live here on Sheffield on Live 93.2 FM. And we have a very special guest here today. We have Louise McNally, Suicide Prevention Lead at Network Rail. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, uh, I mean, I'm reading this. This is absolutely shocking. I mean, there's half of Britons don't know how to make a conversation. It's It's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's something that's that's, that's quite common. Um, I think uh, it, a lot of people will will try to or often try to avoid conversation. It's not just not sort of a comfortable experience for them. Um, but we all actually find ourselves doing it quite regularly. So we're not as bad at it as we actually might think. And I mean, I've got to say, like a third claim not to know how to initiate a conversation. I mean. And it also it leads to people uh, feeling suicidal or being alone. I mean, how can we change that? So, yeah, so um, we're really launching this whole sort of Save Lives campaign today. Um, and really what we're, what we're all, all we're trying to say is that all it takes is a, a simple sentence, uh, a simple conversation. Where can I get a coffee or have you got the time, please? Um, something really simple that interrupts somebody's suicidal thoughts in that in that crucial moment. Um, so when you see somebody who appears to be in crisis, it, it's natural to feel nervous um, or that perhaps by approaching them, we could somehow make the situation worse. But actually, that's that's it, that's really difficult to do. Um, and you can change everything by starting a simple conversation. Um, and it's, it's not something you need specialist training for. All of us have, have the skills to do it. And you, you, you could find yourself saving somebody's life. I mean, uh, it says... Samaritans uh, themselves say, small talk, look, talk, do you know where I can grab a cuppa? Can we all it takes to interrupt someone's suicidal thought? But I mean, how can we tell it's when we go out in public? I mean, if anybody has suicidal thoughts, that's, that's a hard question, isn't it, really? It, it, it is. Um, I mean, sometimes there may be uh, a sort of a, a visible, you, you get a visible idea. If, you, if somebody is in distress, they're crying, they're upset. But in many cases, you won't be able to, to see that somebody's uh, got having the suicidal thoughts. So really, it's, it's, it's important to trust your instincts. Um, if you feel that something's not quite right, um, then 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 just then act, you know, make a make a conversation. And that could be enough to inter interrupt those suicidal thoughts and it could change everything. I mean, uh, I've got to ask this, Louise. I mean, for anybody that is listening to this, I mean, hopefully we are listening, and uh, because this is such an important topic, um, I've got to say, uh, what are the main telltale signs for somebody who is suicidal? That's the thing is that there, there, there are not any real telltale signs. Um, sometimes there will, there will be nothing you, you won't know. Um, so, so what we're saying is, and what Samaritans are saying is trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, if, if, if something just doesn't seem quite right, um, it's better to act than not to act. So, um, you know, just, just leap in and, 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 and make, a, make a conversation, start that small talk. And uh, I mean, as for Samaritans, I mean, is there like, um, is there any information for anybody that for, for anybody that's listening to this right now? Uh, is there any information that people can get so it, to help out? Yeah, so there's there's lots going on over over the coming weeks. We're launching the Small Talk Saves Lives campaign today at Kings Cross Station. We've got the Small Talk Salon. Um, where we have hairdressers, barbers, nail technicians on hand to provide free treatments in exchange for practicing a bit of small talk. Um, but beyond that, we've got 125 um, station locations and communities where Samaritans are going to be out in force. Um, their volunteers are going to be out there um, making conversation and um, giving people the opportunity to practice small talk. Um, but obviously, um, anyone can sign post to Samaritans who can provide 24 7 support for free um, by calling 116 123. And also, I mean, is there like uh, any, if there's any, anybody that's, um, is there like any places where anybody can go to if they, if they feel suicidal but they can't engage in small talk or feel like talking to anyone? Is there any places where anybody can go to? Yeah, so so I think it is about that they can pick up the phone, can pick up the phone, the phone to Samaritans who are there to support twenty four seven um, on the number I, I I just mentioned. So one one six one two three twenty four seven. There will be somebody there to support you. 
Thank you very much, Louise. And I mean, this is a very important topic. I mean, uh, it's it's such a um, I mean, it's absolutely shocking, I mean, what I'm reading right now. But, uh, I mean, we're, we're quickly, quickly running out of time now, but unfortunately. And I would love to talk to you a little bit more about this eventually. But um, for our, my last question, for anybody who is feeling uh, very low right now and wants some help, I mean, what would you like to say to our listeners right now who's listening to this? Yeah, I, just, I think it's just really important to talk to somebody, talk to anybody if you're feeling low. Um, but if, if, if you really need support, um, reach out to the Samaritans who are there to support you. Um, but the, the thing to remember as well is if it's an emergency, always call 999. Really important. Louise, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much, Chris. Thanks for having me.